Hello everybody, this is Chris at EXP Realty. I had a lot of interest in putting together these little, uh, these little, looks like little videos, but actually these are just moving images with a fake little button on top and uh, dress up your emails and blogs and uh, use these as landing page clickable hyperlinked images. Some of you might already know how to do that, and that's great. Uh, I just took the extra step to show that they have a little bit of movement. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So first of all, you're going to find you a little clip or actually go and grab the URL to a YouTube video of yours. So let's go here. I'll show you how to do that if you don't know how. These are all the videos that are on your channel. You're going to go down here to hit share. And uh, oops, I got here share, and you're going to copy this URL right here, and we'll just keep that keep that uh, stored for now. Then we're going to go to something called Capwing, uh, K A P W I N G. Great tool, great tool, and I'm going to show you how to really um, to make one of those little snippets for your email or blog or wherever you have a body of text where you want to uh, bring some excitement. So we're going to go to New Project. We are going to go to Studio. And right here, you can see right here, paste in uh, your uh, URL for your image or video, or you can drag something that's already in your computer. The main thing is to get something with a little bit of motion behind it. And uh, as you saw real quick with how I did my Facebook, See, it says continue with Facebook on top. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But all I did on this was uh, hit my screen record on my, on my computer and then scroll up and down my business page just to give it that little bit of movement. And you will see that in action in just a minute. So we're going to go to, back to Capwing where we were. Let's put in the URL for the video. Okay, there we are. A little bit there. It's working. So the next thing we need to do is we're only going to need a couple of seconds to make things easier, loading times and things like that. We're going to go up here to trim. We don't need that whole thing. And we're going to trim this down. We only need a few, five or six seconds. And we want, copy we that. Sure, you're... We want to make sure that we have some movement in the background. So let's find a good moving place here. Get the scrolling right there. I like that. So that's got a lot of uh, a lot of movement in there that we can choose from later. So and that is about five seconds, actually about five seconds. Pretty good. So we're going to get done. Now our clip down here now is five seconds long. Okay. okay so next, to make it look like that little uh, teaser kind of thing, it's usually they're in the shape of an old television set. You know what I mean? So up here, go to rounded corners. Let's round the corners, as you can see right there. Let's put it right about there. Give it that rounded look. Okay, so, so far so good. Now we need to give it a button on top. So let's just go have some fun here. We'll go to images, and we're going to say, please use, well, let's do a YouTube button. How about that? Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. Whatever, whatever you want to do. At this point, it could be a Facebook button, it could be a web talk button, it could be any kind of button. So we'll put a YouTube play button. Then PNG. We want a PNG for the transfer transparent background. Sometimes they come with a transparent one, sometimes they don't. So plenty of buttons to choose from, as you can see. I kind of like that one. So just click on it. In that center, you can see those little, uh, see those uh, red lines right there. We want it right in the middle. Make it a little bit smaller. Nice. And also at the same time, when you get this in place, uh, remember, don't put this. Uh, always just put this. Let this put put this on the top. Let this 
play like throughout the, the video. Notice it. Because you'll get you'll understand what I'm saying here in just a minute. Also, you can put text. You can pay, click here. You can go get an image of a hand. Superimpose that hand over the click button. You want to try that? Uh, click the hand. Typing around obstacles here. So click hand. Let's see what we get here. Just for fun. Oh, okay. There's some good stuff right there. And let's see if we get a solid hand. Oh, that's perfect. Let's try this one for fun. So click on that. And then we'll turn it here. Because you know how people are sometimes that you have to. Kind of guide them on what to do. Okay, perfect. I like that. It doesn't take. So, so far so good. So now we have a little movie clip. We're going to go to publish up here in the right-hand corner. So this is going to take that five-second thing and make it actually export it into a video. That is step one. So we'll give it a second here. The idea of it is to make it look like this and to also... Uh, with this fake button right there, that means people are going to probably click on that. They're going to want to go to your uh, your Facebook page. They might just click on that button here. This whole image is actually clickable, but we're trying to get them. See, there's a hand right there. So make sure it's clickable right onto that. It just kind of drives your eyes, right? We're just trying to get people to click and go where we want them, guide them to where we want them to go. So this will take a couple of uh, seconds here to download and remember this first step is we made a video clip and the more up, notice it doesn't take them away from the landing so now we have the, the little five second video clip next step is to go up here grab this url here copy this right here underneath go to tools and it takes you to this huge tool list of stuff to do we're going to go over here to uh, convert video. Click on that. Paste your URL in here. Now it's going to go more up, notice it doesn't it. take them away come from the landing here. page. And there is a... You're going to come over here and hit this uh, G, uh, GFI. GIF. And now we're going to turn this into a GIF. So let's just... There's all kinds of movement here. We don't need it more than a couple of seconds long. So that's perfect right there. All kinds of action on that. I like it. Perfect. So next, we're going to hit create down here at the bottom. To more up, notice gonna it doesn't take long. them away from the landing page. If it, if and there is a lot. To more up, notice it doesn't take them away from the landing page. And there is a lot. To more up, notice it doesn't take them away. Hit that, and it should pop into this new project. Okay, yeah, it's still coding right here. So we'll wait now. We're going to come up with a one second GIF. There we go. So I know it doesn't look like much right now, but uh, you'll understand what I'm saying pretty soon. Now we are, uh, let's download this. That's the next step. Download this, which will give you a download right here. Now we're moving. Let's go to step three which is go to your email and let's get out of this. Let's go to a new one. Okay. Now we're going to put in. So now what we're going to do is you're going to go down here. You're going to drag that download right into your file. And then there is your nice little playing little view of your YouTube. And remember, you can take them to anywhere. Okay, so now we have this little, uh, this little uh, thing here in the body of your text. Great for blogs and everything else. Obviously, when they see this, they're going to see that button there and they're going to want to click it. But still, right now, this is just an image. 
Uh, so what we need to do is we need to over here in an in a, in a area like this, you're going to hold the left button down on your uh, mouse, you're going to drag it over, and then you're going to go down here and say insert link. And sometimes it will just disappear and then try it again. And then now you're going to see the go to link. Now, this is the actual link of the picture, right? But let's change that. Um, as you can see right here, we're going to change that to, let's go back over here to that, remember that video that we want to bring them to. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Copy that. Put that in there. And sometimes you can put some text there if you want. Okay, now we're going to hit, now you have that, we're going to hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do is test this out. So I go over here, I left click, hold the left button down on the cursor, I mean on the mouse, on the pad, and go over, and then there is your link. So you know it's going to work. Now, when you send this, you can put in, hey, you know, come and check out this new video I just dropped or whatever. If you need to, um, you know, whatever it is, it could be a, a it could be a video to a, 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 a single property website, anything, anything you want. But with this little button on here, like I said before, there it's going to make them it's going to make them want to push that. Right, and that's the main thing is get them to where you want to go. Now you have a little clickable image, which is basically a landing page guide for wherever you want. So hopefully this works for you guys. If you have any questions or details and stuff, you can hit me up on Workplace, and um, and you can also follow me on Web Talk, which I'll put in the description of the video. And I do all kinds of these how-to videos, and I hope this helped, guys. It's a little bit of a process. But isn't that kind of cool? Now when you're writing your email, uh, hi, everyone. And then you have blah, 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 blah. You have your email here. And then you have a nice, um, you have a nice uh, uh, a, a actual kind of movement in your email. And then with your fake little button you put there, hopefully you get some people to click on that. So hopefully that helps. And uh, everybody have a great day. I appreciate you guys watching.